Welcome to the Crafty Queen channel. Today I'm going to show you how I transform a basic wooden pallet to this beautiful large dog bed. Keep watching. I started this project off at Lowe's where I bought one of these wooden boards. It was 8 feet long and I had them cut it down in half to 4 feet. And this is going to be the headboard to my dog bed. I screwed the first board to the side of my pallet using four two inch screws. Here I screwed in two on the left side and then two more on the right side. And then I found two steel mending braces laying around my house and I thought these would be good to secure the second board on top of the first board. So here I am screwing in the first mending brace and then there's the second mending brace. And just to add some extra security, I also glued the second board with some wood glue on top of the first board. Originally, I had another design in mind for this pallet bed and that's why I painted it this light cream beige color. But um, I later changed my mind and decided I wanted to do like somewhat of a gray. So I took this leftover um, Valspar Ultra paint that I had from when I painted my walls, but I wanted it to be a bit of a darker gray. So I mixed it up with some leftover black paint and some white paint to try to make it a, a different kind of grayish tone. And you can see right here on the right side of the headboard, that's how the gray paint originally looked before I mixed it up and made my own color. So you can see the comparison there. Oh, and hey, while you're watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and show your support. And then I ended up changing my design again. So I had to go back and paint the headboard white and this front board white so that I could create this stencil design with the paint. I'm sorry you guys, but this ended up being one of those projects that you just have to make up as you go and see what works and what doesn't. I was just having one of those kind of days. Y'all understand. Now I've showed you all my stenciling technique when I did my dining room wall makeover video. I'm going to put the link at the top right corner of this video. And if you haven't seen it already, definitely check it out because I worked some magic on that wall. But basically you just make sure that there's just a little bit of paint left on the roller before you go over it with the stencil. And I used a little bit of scotch tape to tape the stencil to the headboard. And now I'm just peeling it off and it turned out perfect. And now I'm going to line it up with the previous design and just stick it back to the headboard and continue on painting. For those of you that are new to my channel, I'm always doing a bunch of budget friendly DIYs such as this one. So I'm going to put a link to my playlist of other DIY projects that I've done at the top right corner. And I'm telling you, you guys definitely want to check that out. And then I use this white chalk marker from Dollar Tree to go over any imperfections that I made with the paint. And like always, I use my handy polyclearic to paint the entire palette and seal the paint. Now for the pillow cover, at my local thrift store, I got this huge cream color blanket for only $6. And I just basically sewed it into a pillow. Now I'm not gonna go into details on how I sewed it. I think there's plenty of other videos that are out there to describe you how to sew a pillow. But here it is after I sewed all four sides together. And then this final side, I only sewed half of it together 
and the other half I left an opening with velcro so that you can open the cup the pillow cover up and get the inner pillow out in case you need to wash it now for the pillow I purchased these three pillows from Walmart and I cut them open and I took all the stuffing out of it I laid them all on the floor so I could show you where I cut them open Now I'm pointing out to you where I'm going to sew the pillowcase closed to make one large pillow. And here it is again after I've sewed everything together. And this is where I left the opening so I could stuff the cotton cushion back inside. After I sewed that last opening of the pillowcase, now I'm just going to slide it into the pillow cover. I really love the way this palette dog bed turned out. I was going to get my dog Kingston to lay on it and kind of show it off for you, but he's in his heavy shedding mode and I'm planning on trying to sell this piece so I didn't want him to dirty it up. And if you're in the Charlotte region, I'm going to put in the description box below how you can buy this piece if you like. But I hope you guys really like how it turned out. I know I did. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for future notifications. And like always, I will catch you guys next time.